Welcome, class. I want to take a few moments of your time and, and try to explain to you some of, the, uh, some of the math behind calculating fertility rates and doubling time. You should have gotten a packet already that has a problem set with three different countries, a, country A, B, and C. And each one of those has a variety of different uh, uh, numbers, birth rates, death rates, immigration, uh, and immigration. And you're supposed to calculate the different kinds of, of birth and death rates and then, of course, tell me what the, the doubling time is. And with that information, you should be able to tell me if this is developing country, developed country, or pre-industrial country, and what kinds of things are going on in their particular society based on what you know about the transition, um, the demographic transition model. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, one, of the, one of the questions that you're going to find in your packet is what is the annual uh, population rate and what is this doubling time? Uh, these are just the current numbers of country A. I'd like to do that as a sample problem for you so you can write that down. So you already have this in your packet, but I just don't want I do want to review it. You have a present population of just shy of 900,000 people. We have an annual uh, birth rate. Sometimes people call that the crude death rate at 9,866. Our annual death rate, or sometimes crude birth rate, as some or death rate as it's called, um, is 8,722. So you can see, at least in a natural uh, progression of, of birth and death, uh, this particular country is a little ahead of itself as far as there's more births than deaths. But there's other things you also have to consider. For instance, like the, uh, the annual immigration rate, or immigrants. Um, that is the uh, IA rate, and that's 212. That's the amount of people that are coming into your country, because you should uh, calculate that as well. That's not calculated as, as part of the natural, <clears throat> the natural growth rate of that particular society or country. And then we have uh, annual immigration, which is the folks that are leaving. And in this particular case, there's a lot of people leaving this particular country for whatever reason. Uh, I really don't know. But these are some numbers um, that I got uh, off the Internet for a particular country. So these are the, the actual numbers. And you have to use immigration and immigration along with annual birth and death rates to determine what the doubling time might be. So look at those numbers and uh, let's show you how, how those work. Now one of the things you're going to have to do in this calculation is you're going to have to take the annual birth rate plus uh, the annual immigration rate. That means that all, this, all the kids that are born plus all the folks who are coming into your borders <clears throat> that makes up all the new people that are being added to your population. You subtract that from the crude death rate or annual death rate plus the annual immigration. Notice it has a little, uh, an E, uh, immigration, like exit. So that tells you that all the folks that have uh, left your borders, left your country, plus um, all, all the folks that have also died in your country. So when you put that all together and you divide that by the present population of, in this particular case, 890,000 plus, that will give you a growth rate, or R. <clears throat> to get the doubling time, what you have to do is take the logarithm of 2. Now, what that means is a replacement rate of 2 means, of course, you're just replacing mom and dad. So if you take the logarithm of that, that will allow us to, to, to calculate what the doubling time is. So if you take the logarithm of 2, which is 0.7, and divide it by your growth rate, you're going to get a, a number that will tell you how quickly um, and how many years <clears throat> your particular population will double its size. Uh, I've got this empty chalkboard. I'd like to uh, go ahead and work it out for you and explain it uh, each of, the, of the, um, the steps when we do that. Now remember... And the first thing that you have to do is you have to take the annual birth rate and you add it to the annual Im immigration, or the one with the I, immigrants, uh, and put those together because those are all the new people in your particular country um, together. So let's do that first. In this particular case, we have uh, nine. Oops, let me get, get rid of that. We have 9,800 and 66 people that were born. And then we're going to add to that all the folks who came into our borders. Now these are all the total new people that are in our society 
at that particular time period, whether it's 10 years, 5 years, whatever it might be. It may even be 1 year. At, when you add those together, you'll get 10,078. Those are all the new people that you've added to your uh, country. Now we're going to have to subtract that from the annual accrued death rate. In this particular case, it's 8,722. We're going to add to that all those people that have left your country. And that would be the, emig the immigrants, uh, excuse me, the immigration. That means those ho folks who left your country. And this big take your case is pretty high. 2,670. And that equals to 11,392. So in this particular case, obviously, we're having more people leaving our country than, than when added to it. So we're going to be having actually a negative uh, growth rate. So when we do that, we come up with a number that is minus 1,314. Now, that tells us how many that we've lost, but it doesn't give us a rate. So what we have to do is you have to divide that by the total number of people that are present in your country currently. That would be 890,220. And that number is going to give us R, or our growth rate. And in this particular case, that is one, or excuse me, 0 0.0015. Now I've rounded that up because it was 1.00149 something something. So again, this 0 0.0015 equals the growth rate in that particular um, country. So we have part of our equation now. Now the next thing that we're going to do is take that growth rate and we're going to divide it into <clears throat> this coefficient or the logarithm of uh, the logarithm or two of 0.7 to give us the doubling time. So in this particular case, we're going to take the 0.7 and then we're going to divide it by the growth rate. And so it's 0.7 divided by 0 0.0015. And that will come up with a um, growth rate of 467 years to actually double our society. Basically what's going on in this particular case, if we keep going at the rate of losing uh, 1,300 or more people at every uh, time frame, whether it be a year or 10 years or whatever this particular number is from, you're not going to double. This is a zero growth pattern in this particular point. So in this particular case, it's going to take 467 years to double. What that really means, it's just not going to double. We're, going to, we're basically having a zero growth. So uh, from this, you should be able to tell me a little bit about the, what kind of pyramid, um, a population pyramid you have. Is it going to be the Christmas tree type? Is it going to be the boxy or square or rectangular tape type, or is it going to be the cup shape? Also try to think of um, some countries that represent each one of these shapes, and that should give you a, a kind of a hint of what kinds of things culturally and environmentally um, they can look forward to or maybe kind of start planning for. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and uh, re recap everything. Here's what the calculation calls for. Number one, you have to add up everything that's every person that's added to your borders. That means the births as well as the immigration. In this case, it was over 10,000 people, total gross positive population. Then we add up all the folks who have left your country, either through death or immigration. And that was called the E, e for exit. And in this particular case, we had over 11,000. So we had, uh, in this case, more people leave than actually uh, show up in, in your country. So you're going to have a negative growth in this particular case. So when we did that, our annual growth is really not growth. It's a decline of minus 1,314. When we divide that so that by the present population, that allows us to get the actual growth um, 
the, the rate of growth in our particular uh, country. That comes to 0 0.0015, and got, of course that's R. Then you get to double the time, you have to divide the, the rate of growth into the logarithm of 2, which is 0 0.7. That gives us 467 years to double our time. So I hope that has been helpful for you. And um, we have some other calculations and, uh, and uh, other kinds of growth charts we're going to be looking at. But this gives you an idea a little bit about how to cal calculate the fertility and what those means in terms of doubling time. We'll see you in the lab. Thanks.